Hey, yo, what's up? So this is going to be a bit different. I am using PowerPoint. So, okay. So before I get into it, a little bit of introduction. This is the game that I've been playing, Diablo Immortal, uh, for the past week. I've been grinding this game like, like a fucking madman. But I think it's time to stop because there's a glaring issue with the game and that is uh, forced co-op and how it ties a bit into this dislike so let me just go through it as you can see in the picture I'm showing you here the one at the top right here the one that says rewards this is what you get when you clear the content doesn't matter if you're in a party or you solo it but the one at the bottom right here where it says Warband Rewards requires 4 plus members. Uh, this you can only get when you have a party or um, Warband Party. And what Warband Party in this game essentially is, is it's not a random group of party. It is a party that you build a specific player party. Basically, it's like a mini clan, um, and you can only get this uh, when you clear it with four plus members of that mini clan, essentially. Um, and the it gives a huge bulk of rewards. This thing, the one that says thirty orbs, this the thirty red orbs, is used to level up a piece of content, and when you do it solo, you don't even get it. You get this thing, which you can salvage and get this thing, but the ratio is pretty low. I think you get like 10 or something when you salvage this thing to level up that piece of content. So the rewards that you get solo versus you do it with a warband, and it requires 4 plus members by the way, is so minuscule. And why is that a bad thing? I'll get into later. And Again, there are so many perks to a warband. This is a mini clan thing. If you look at this anc ancestral tableau, I'm not even getting this ancestral tableau because ancestral ta tableau bonuses are unav unavailable until you have accumulated 1000 warband activity with your current warband. So I can't, I don't even get these stats. Um, I need to find an active warband before I can actually get these stats. And then at the side here, you can see this is the dungeon of the game uh, has a chance when you do it with a four man uh, team which is also uh, forcing co-op onto, onto you it has a chance to contain valuable equipment but requires four plays to unlock it drops on dungeon completion so you get an extra extra drop if you do it with a four man party which again is kind of annoying we, uh, I'll explain why and then Warband benefits, Warband members have a 5% increase of chance for items to drop from monsters while in a party together. This might not seem a, like a lot, 5%, whatever, but this game is a grind fest. 5% is a lot because you do a lot of farming in this game. The farming is absolutely endless in this game. So yeah, that 5% is pretty massive. Now why is it, why is this a bad thing? It's, it's encouraging co-op player playing with players but that is a bad thing because i think when you and when you force co-op into a player it becomes a job instead of a game because now i need to play the game at the same time four of my warband members play and the warband is kept at eight um which means i need to find a group of seven players including uh eight players including me uh, that plays around the same time that I do and I don't have the luxury of playing whenever I want and that becomes annoying extremely annoying and this game I have many times go went into the world chat and tried to you know just say looking for active warband and nothing no no reply whatsoever because the game is absolutely fucking dead you can see if you search Diablo Immortal in the in YouTube, a lot of its content creator has already quit the game. 
one because of its pay to win aspect and two because of its uh, stagnant it's very stagnant um, I don't really care about pay to win aspect uh, you only care about it when you get into PvP uh, but this in my opinion as a solo player absolutely fucking kills the game for me because I need to find four at least four players that play the game at the same time as me if I don't uh, I mean just think about it right uh, as a casual player when you go into a game you want to play the game at your own pace you don't want to say you know uh, oh man my warband members can only play the game at uh, you know 6 p.m. later so I'm not gonna do my uh, raids or whatever I need to set my alarm to 6 p.m. and then when 6 p.m. comes around uh, it turns out that one of your uh, warband member can't actually play, play the game because of life so you only have three so you can actually get the rewards <laughs> your rewards for the warband and that becomes quite annoying um, you actually need four at least four members to get the rewards that's forcing co-op to the player um, and it becomes a job instead of a game because now you have a schedule to when you can play um, so yeah in this game playing solo is absolutely brutal you get way less rewards um, and some contests are even straight up just locked like for example this one ancestral Tra tableau is basically locked if you are a solo player you can't even get the um, bonus stats from this ancestral tableau um, and then the next game I want to talk about is if you have ever heard of this game Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Blazing you are a absolute OG I used to play this game religiously for like a, uh, I think two years uh, but it, it has since shut down I think for a few years now it was a great game but uh, the main reason I'm talking about this game is because they have similar um, content uh, that they release that can only work in co-op so this this event uh, it is a event that you farm and you cannot go into that event unless you find someone so you have to queue up and this game is absolutely dead by that by the time they release that content so the queue times for that uh, content was like 20 to 30 minutes just to get into one uh, run and that event you require to run like a couple hundred times <laughs> so, 20 to 30 minutes for one run and you knew you need to do like 100 200 runs of that run uh, that, that event so initially when people w w when they released that content pe the first couple of days people were uh, happy about it because it was a co-op exclusive event uh, after like the third day or so people start to re realize that the wait times are absolutely horrendous um, you need to wait so goddamn long for a single run and it is a farm event so people just hated it after like the third day and when this the event came around the second time they didn't change anything which means people didn't do the, the event at all um, the wait times you could go indefinitely and not get into a run so you basically can't, can't farm the event um, so th the second time that it came around the only way that you can farm the event was if you use a second account so what I did was I used my main account go into a lobby and then I used my secondary account just to go into the event invited by my main account and just solo the content with my main account because that's the only way uh, to actually farm the event otherwise you could go into a lobby try to find a random player and it, it will indefinitely you will indefinitely be in the lobby forever because of how dead it is and then the third time they actually did change instead of making it co-op exclusive they made it that you can solo the event and that's where the, uh, the change become uh, for like a, a lot of players you can actually farm the event without using a secondary account so you go in 
solo it, you're done with your day, right? So you don't have to uh, do any co-op event. It was good for the free first couple of days, but then it just became a chore because you need to farm it. It's not like a one-time thing. And then, okay, so why is this relevant to this light? This is why it's relevant to this light. This is the roadmap, the only, <laughs> the only roadmap that we've ever gotten for this light. We've already gotten sent in a hunt in autumn 2022 and now we're moving into winter 2022 uh, I think it's until March so we can expect Shade Mother to release sometime within the next few patches uh, I think latest by April maybe um, Okay, so the description for Shade Mother Desolate Lens Team Mode Shade Mother it's now available. Team up with mighty partners to fight for glory and abundant rewards. What this insinuates is that it's going to be a co-op event. And also, they uh, every time they showed Shade Mother, it's pretty basically like a co-op event. You have, you have the uh, second player on the screen. So, if they made it exclusively a co-op event, that is a sure way to absolutely kill this game mode on launch. You might see some players, oh wow, our first our first co-op event, this is so fun. And then <laughs> and then the, the second time that they do it is going to be, oh man, this is this is such a short just waiting five minutes for a, a, a run that you have to farm a lot. You know? That's what it's going to be initially be. A lot of players are going to be happy that we're getting a co-op event but then after a few hours, I think it's going to be a few hours they're going to realize that co-op is absolutely brutal co-op exclusive is going to be brutal for the game because of the wait times um, yeah, so if you... Lilith, listen if you want to make a co-op event, you cannot make it exclusive um, we've already seen this with, uh, with um, RTA on how absolutely dead that game mode is in the um, in the what's it called on a server the wait times are absolutely horrendous you needed to wait 5 to 30 minutes sometimes even an hour to get into a match it is because the honor server is so dead right the, you, you can actually pair them up with someone so we already know the experience we already have the in-game experience about PvP or co-op related events and that is RTA it has run twice both times you can ask the honor server player that the, the true most annoying thing about RTA is not the meta the speed meta was not even the top meta it, it was speed meta and then tank meta. Tank, tank meta was still relevant when um, speed meta was at the top. But the old, the most annoying thing was the wait times. People couldn't even get into a match. I mean, if you look at Daddy Free to Play, he doesn't even do RTA <laughs> in both times. He barely plays RTA because of the wait times. It was so. It's such a terrible experience to just wait. When you want to. It is a mobile game after all. When you play a game, you actually want to play the game. You don't want to wait endlessly to try and get into a match. That's just a terrible game design and... So how... Okay, I'm rambling on for too long. How do you fix this? How do you fix a co-op event by making it not a chore? This is how you got them fix it. This is the game that I've been playing for quite a lot. Um, I played this game. This is uh, Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross. I played it for one year, quit it, and then I recently picked it up. Not really recently, I picked it up like last year, I think. I picked it up and this is basically the co-op of this game. You can see the difficulty, difficulty right here. Normal, Hard, Extreme, and Hell. Hell was released uh, separately from all this uh, three uh, difficulty when hell was released um, they did not they made it 
co-op exclusive and it absolutely kills the game. It kills th uh, this part of the game because previously you couldn't this AI button right here was not in the game. Uh, you can only invite real players, so real-time players, or your guildmates. So you still need to uh, to to clear the content. You need a co-op. So it's basically co-op exclusive. And then uh, people absolutely hated it because number one, the wait times was absolutely horrendous. You need to wait like this game is not dead, but it's still the wait time is still quite long sometimes it can go up to five minutes and then the other thing is when you um if you don't have a dedicated player that you farm with the experience is ex absolutely horrendous because when you invite a random player that random player is going to take going to bring a comp that absolutely that makes absolutely no sense and it could cross cost you the run but not not necessarily that's not necessarily the bad thing but the bad thing is that you have to go again so it wastes a lot of time um and then it, it wastes a lot of time for them to change their uh their uh comp wastes a lot of time for them to change their gear in this uh, uh game it's just wasted time uh, uh in general so after a few months of releasing this difficulty, um, they've received a lot of negative feedbacks on why it's co-op co exclusive and they released this, invite the AI of a player. So if I go here, I can invite any one of this, I can go into my, uh, my uh, guild and then just invite an AI of a player. So it's not actually the player, it's the AI of the player with runes on them. I mean, this one doesn't have any, but you can absolutely find uh, an AI of a player with runes on them, which means they don't take time to change their comp. They, you don't have to wait in the lobby endlessly, and then you don't have to wait for them to think of a, to think what card to use. The AI will will do it for them. So there's no wasted time in this one. It, it, it's absolutely great update that they added AI into this uh, difficulty um, so yeah that's the I think the best way to make co-op you know a quote-unquote co-op um, event for this light which is to add an AI of a player if I don't want to go into shade mother with a, another with another player then let me use their AI, the AI of another player. If you are someone that can carry, then you would use an AI. If you are someone that cannot, you know, basically do straight mother, then you would go into, then you would want to use the co-op feature. I think that's the only way to save a co-op event. It doesn't matter how big your game is, a co-op forced exclusive event is going to kill that game mode because one it is a game if it, it is a mobile game you don't want to be you don't want to be tied into a specific schedule that you can play with a specific player that is absolutely annoying when it comes to games let alone mobile game one that's choppy uh, you, you can see like almost every mobile game has this uh, skip function now this like absolutely great with the skip function uh makes everything so choppy you can see daddy play uh video where he cleared like 10 out of 10 stamina in five minutes <laughs> absolutely insane um and then you can see this game also it has a skip function which is just great because it's a mobile game you you want to get it over, you want to do the dailies as fast as possible so uh, yeah and you don't want to be tight around a certain schedule if you have a co-op exclusive event the way to circumvent it is to find a specific player that you can play at the same time um, yeah a specific player that you can play at the same time so that you don't have to wait as long but it's still scheduled specific which is very annoying all right i'm getting i'm reiterating myself way too many times i think that's about it 
you guys can get my point basically shade mother don't make it go of exclusive make it so i can invite an ai of a player so that i don't have to wait 10 hours for a run i think that's about it lilith please listen don't fucking kill shape mother upon uh, upon launch yeah i think that's about it so oh yeah I, for I forgot one thing the uh diablo immortal game i've played it for one week straight and now just because of this uh co-op force thing i'm actually just quitting the game <laughs> this is the uh this is what you get for forcing co-op into onto onto the player base i think that's about it